Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Zelda Speedruns for our continuing coverage of the Zelda 2 Randomizer Standard Tournament. I uh, hope everyone just enjoyed that rousing cooking simulator, but uh, at the moment we are going to have ourselves a loser's bracket quarterfinals match between number 6 seed Level Engine and number 2 seed Lightning. <coughs> Excuse me, uh, I got Jinxie Girl with me on comms tonight. Jay Coper will be joining us later. How you doing, Jinxie? I am doing good. Excited for some more Z2R. Well, hopefully we'll have a race here soon. Just waiting on Level Engine to go live. So we can, you know, start this. Yeah, this tournament has been really exciting so far. There have been some really super close races. Some early dips of Palace 6 seeing Barba killed with, you know really low life and no items. It's always exciting to see which routes the uh, players are going to take. So I'm excited to see how a uh, level engine and lightning do today. All right. Looks like we're going to get started here momentarily. So I guess while we wait, it looks like we have another race tomorrow around 8 o'clock between Thurwolf and Yunos. This is Loser Bracket Round 4, so that'll be exciting to tune into. Probably going to end up on one of the ZSR channels, not sure which one at the moment, but that is one of our upcoming races. Yeah, I think time. that is uh, tomorrow at 8 o'clock Eastern. <clears throat> It'll be a good match. I promise you, we are going to have a race. <laughs> Maybe. And it looks like our race will be given here, will be beginning here shortly as RaceBot sets our runners off. All right, Jinxie, I'm going to hand this on over to you. Take it away. Thank you very much. Okay, and we are finally off both racers heading out of Sleeping Zelda's Palace. We find our first town. Looks like both runners are going to go ahead and check it. Uh-oh, Barba slithers with the boots. That is a pretty good hint to have. So that means we're going to have to dip Palace 6 to get those boots before we can do some water walking adventures. We're going to go over here and pick up our first spell. The shield spell, not great, not terrible. We're still early in this game, lots to explore. So hopefully our players will be able to survive a little while. And we have Great Palace on level engine side. Magic container, first one of the game. I believe that is one of our heart container tiles. Interesting great palace right at an up and a spot. 
So even if our last palace for our runners is kind of far away, maybe off in the east, they're not going to have a hard time getting back there. And our creepy grave towel lady knows nothing today, as per usual. Wow, a lot of swamp to walk through early on in this game. It's going to take a while for our runners to get there. We have an up A on Lightning's side. Wow, really not much early on in this seed. Very interesting start. Level Engine changing his mind on that cave as Lightning finds the cave that Level Engine just abandoned. Where, oh where could our progress be? Ooh, 240 for our uh, attack level up. And a 200 P bag for Lightning. At least we have one item on the board. Even though it's useless, it's still something. Level Engine gonna try and bully his way through this cave here. And just a connector to another side that is a dead end. Nice key drop for Lightning Z. They don't have that master key yet, so it is pretty nice to find those. We have Jump Cave. And it looks like we are joined by Jay Copper. Welcome. Um, thanks. We just seen you know, almost people say Jay Copper. I mean, they're just letters, but um, I try. I tried to say it. I have the hardest time saying Coper for some reason, so I'm sure it'll happen again. But you have not missed anything in this seed. We are five minutes in, and we have the shield spell, and that is it. Really? We don't have any items out of caves. No. Oh, that's crazy. Yeah, it has been a very stingy seed, although Level Engine just pulled a 500 P bag off that enemy, so he's going to grab a couple levels here to help him out. He, I mean, he is a Level Engine after all. So. <laughs> Nothing would be uh, otherwise expected. Interesting Lightning taking that life level and magic level versus attack. Oh, but he's really close to that attack three. No, he's not. It's 500. Never mind. Well, he'll get it from this uh, die right here, maybe. Oh, not quite. Um, yeah, attack three is usually around 500. The, I don't know how much the, the levels vary by, but it's really not all that much. Um, like it, it's kind of predictable where they'll be. Magic container off a of grass tile. Okay. So it looks like they were stuck at the start and they had to go through Jump Cave backwards to get anywhere. 
based on what we just saw. Yeah, it has been a very uh, selective seed at this point. There's nothing really exciting happening. We do find Fairy, though, off the magic mirror. That's kind of exciting. I don't know that the mirror is magic or not, other than its ability to get lost uh, for the lake girl. Yeah, the people in these towns seem to be very, very lazy. The lady with the water, the lady with the mirror. It's just a shame. We did get a hint that Barba has our boots. Yeah, that's uh, that's pretty good. That could definitely create some intrigue later. Um, so fairy being uh, one of the first things we find would uh, let us uh, tend to believe that maybe the raft is in one of the first palaces we have available. But we haven't seen any palaces yet? Just the Great Palace, right by start. And that's a pretty rough encounter. The, the Red Dyras are rough to deal with by themselves, but then you got the Boomerangs going high-low on you at the same time. Yeah, definitely hasn't been friendly on our runners thus far. And that's a game over. That seems really costly. Um, so one thing I wonder about Fairy, since it's castable... Uh, actually, I didn't... S I'm not sure if it's castable at one. Uh, but I'm wondering if they could potentially go through uh, the Fairy Cave. But... Uh, I'm guessing we haven't seen that. That would just be the grave tile that drops you down. Yeah, we have not seen that yet. Lots of swamp to walk around so far at the beginning. That kind of what is what uh, held our runners up for a while, trying to navigate through that overworld with just the trulliest settings possible. Lightning about to pick up their uh, downstab though, which is pretty exciting. Yeah, for sure. This is this is definitely a pretty uh, big advantage for lightning at start here. Wow, uh, level engine going all the way up to like four, it's preparing for the worst. Oh, he's got attack three already too. So a, a big advantage for um, level engine in levels because he already got that second five hundred point big. Yeah, Lightning left one behind uh, when they went through an encounter, which was risky. Oh, level engine missing that key. But with Fairy, I guess it's not that terrible. We get our first look at uh, Death Mountain there. Yeah, um, we also got a hint that medicine is in the east. Could definitely be something that comes up later. I think that was Palace 1 on level engine side. I missed it. That certainly could be. And right, Lightning going up to attack 3. Pretty even on levels. Got an extra life for um, level engine, but 2 extra magic for Ooh, magic cave with just a heart. Oh, this must be heart container cave that uh, level engine's in now. So we saw the grass tile on the north side of that river. We need to way across that river. Oh, our glove! Oh, wow, nice. There might be a bridge around across this river. Or, uh, they might need boots, or there might be a connector of some sort that gets them up there. Connector seems pretty likely. 
they could just ferry across uh, Saria. That might be useful. It looks like, like lightning. lightning found that heart cave. Yeah, so he's gonna get his glove too. I don't think Love Lunch and Hand is downstab yet. No, he didn't get that yet. Seems like our runners just keep switching places. Level Engine about to pick up his heart container as Lightning is about to pick up their magic glove. If there's ever a time you want to pick up a heart container, it's when you've got, like, one sliver of health left. It's always a bit uh, of a relief, I say. Oh yeah, nothing like a clutch heart refill. No, the air sprite doesn't change to other sprites. I wonder if Dickshick has considered that. Both players noping out of Death Mountain. Yeah, I, it doesn't seem too appealing to me yet. Level so engine they, about um, to pick up his down stab. Which I don't so first look at the uh, medicine cave here. Lightning skipping a uh, life uh, three or four. That's a somewhat interesting decision. I'm guessing he's gonna probably just work towards attack four, but maybe he'll take magic since they might be depending on... Ooh, um, our hammer! Fairy. Yeah, that hammer would make Death Mountain a little more appealing. Yeah, definitely. I didn't see if we had any uh, sight of the rock yet. I don't think we saw any rock black caves in the overworld yet either. Not that I can recall. Oh, looks like Fairy and Trusaria is not going to help us at all. Okay, that's three or six right there. Could be important if that's six. We do have our hammer and our glove. Well, Level Engine doesn't have the hammer yet, which wouldn't really help them. But with that glove, maybe digging out those boots in six would help navigation a little bit. Yeah, um, bo having both Fairy and the glove... Um, could mean that we need to dig into, uh, whatever, uh, palace this is. Yeah, they've also picked up a few keys from enemy drops, so it wouldn't be quite as brutal. Looks like this is six, so we know that the gloves, or the boots are in here, I guess. Yeah, I like this play from Lightning. Yeah, um, we'll see just how uh, rough this Palace 6 is. Yeah, I've seen in a lot of the seeds too that those boots just help route Death Mountain so much more than not. Definitely seems to save some time. Looks like we've got to go left through this uh, room with the tricky jumps here. There's probably a name for this room. I just call it gross. This is also going to give a chance for Lightning to do some serious level ups with these enemies in this palace. Yeah, though it's not like the seed has been very stingy when it comes to 
experience. So it, it seems like the boots might be required in the West, which is pretty rare. Yeah, they seem to have that block of water just surrounding the entire area. Those MOAs are not being very kind, but 70 experience points per MOA is not bad at all. Yeah, I think they're 50 in vanilla. Go up to 100. I'm pretty surprised at how cheap Fairy already is at Magic 4. Yeah, well, Lightning just found a dead end there. Looks like level engine is gonna take on palace one. That makes sense to me. I would be going into one first any day. I mean, it's not like getting the item out of one is a, a big burden. Um, and he's already found it, so yeah. Yeah, it's a relatively short palace. He has, I think, attack three or attack four and downstab, so. Of course, that isn't going to give him any trouble. Not that it would give him any trouble on attack one. These guys are really, really good, but still, it's nice to have that security. Just our candle from Palace. Well, uh, that's vanilla. Yeah, I have to say, I like when our runners have the candle. It makes it a little easier for me to do commentary because I'm not as well versed at the Z2 universe as uh, our other commentators. So I appreciate when the candle's early. Lightning getting bullied here. Yeah, this is a tough fight. It's, he took a game over. So, uh, I was thinking that he might have wanted to up an A at some point, maybe after crossing that fairy gap, but uh, looks like the game did the up an A for him, I guess. Looks like Bubble Engine will probably get two levels out of here. Yeah, he's really close to that next level before he reaches Horsehead, so I think he's definitely gonna get lucky with those levels. This guy will probably do it. Oh, 50 bit. Oh, <laughs> that was dirty pool right there. Here we go. Plus attack four will make Corset go just a little bit faster. Oh, I don't think lightning meant to fall there. No, he did. Oh, okay. I, I mean, he might not have, but it's not a big deal at all. Uh, there's there's nothing of too much interest on the other side. It would just be like a key or a key bag or something. Yeah, unfortunately, lost a lot of experience points with that game over. But I'm sure that's not going to be a problem. All right. It looks like level two. engine has found horse head. Oh, 30 points for Horsehead. Yeah, I mean, he's 15 uh, vanilla, so it, it really didn't make much difference there as far as what Lowell Engine could do with this gem. So, um, well, now he's got the candle, I guess. 
I really like that we have a hint for the boots, and they sure seem to be required. I, though that... I, have we seen the back of Fairy Cave? What is in this Grave Tower right here? I don't know. I just, uh... I'm not sure. I think it's... No, it's not the lady. She didn't have a hint. Um... I can't remember. Oh, looks like, uh, Lightning has found the boots. This is definitely giving him a leg up. Even though, uh, Level Engine has the gem placed, it's just one. So, it was a... You know, a bit of a ordeal to get through here. As long yeah. as you can take down this Rebanac with one of these next two lives. His, um, his ability to get around the overworld is going to be so much faster than level engine. So the longer level engine avoids six, I think lightning's going to be able to pull a little bit ahead just with traversing alone. Yeah. I suspect it wouldn't be that long before level engine decides to go in there, but we'll see what he does here in a minute. Rebanak is not playing nice today with lightning. And there's level engine taking the dip in the six. I didn't really think they had much of a choice on this early six dip. The seat kind of forced him this way. Yeah, it, uh, it certainly appears that way. Oh, he's up and in. That's a little interesting. I wonder if there's a different way he knows that he can go. But, uh, yeah, as long as you're in here, you might as well go ahead and uh, go after Barba. Not a whole lot stopping you. I mean, it'd be easier with, like, the magic key or higher attack levels or something like that, but, uh... I think most people have the attitude that as long as you're here, you might as well do it. Well, they're in the same room for a second there. Oh. Yeah, a little high five from our runners. And it's a little loop. Two room loop there. if there should be an option to put the candle in logic. I think most people who are uncomfortable with dark rooms just start with the candle, so that kind of nullifies the need for an option like that. Oh, it looks like, uh, like you might have to make this uh, jump here without jump, but he's got it. There's an invisible hole there. And level engine's about to discover this uh, unfortunate dead end. And we have our second Rebanak fight, uh, Palace 6, so we should be really close to Barba at this point. This fight going a little more smoothly than the first one. Yeah, you could say that. Interesting that Fairy might not even be required for Palace 6. I mean, there, there's only two Fairy required rooms, and one of them is only required from a certain direction. The other one's... yeah, it's definitely not required in here. All about that jackhammer from Lightning! Yeah, pretty good start to the fight. Cool level end of fighting that awful area with just the trolliest enemies. Wow, and Barba is down for lightning. I... That was almost on purpose for level engine. I don't remember, um... Light, or, er, yeah, lightning going through this room in Palace 6. Yeah, like, he did. He did go through this? Okay. 
Oh, yeah. I must have been uh, had my attention elsewhere. Yeah, he took a death. I think that's what caused his game over originally was uh, those enemies right there in that little clump. Mm. Rebanak should be right here and Level Engine will be picking up his boots very shortly. Alright, now we get to see what's on the other side here. I would expect the raft up here. We'll see. Oh, do we already have the trophy? Or is he just going to get it? Nope, we don't have that trophy yet. <laughs> Go east to find the trophy. Yeah, uh, so Melee Wizard pointed out that shield is like fire, definitely among the worst things that it can be linked with. Um, normally it's nice to have fire linked with something either that you need and you're re replacing, or um, maybe a, something that would normally be expensive that you can get it at a much lower cost. But uh, yeah, shield is always cheap, so... And they already have it. Right, exactly. That's a shame. Well, I always like when uh, Reflect is attached to fire. Yeah. On the other hand... Um, There's our raft. So, uh, shield being attached to fire means that they can cast shield and they'll also have like the fire ability at the same time. Which can be a little useful in uh, a few special cases. I imagine Lightning is just going to... Well, I mean, there's there's nothing really stopping him from doing one as well. I assume he's seen it, so I would do that before heading east, but just uh, otherwise check the rest of these item locations and then probably go east. Just a heart and trophy cave? So medicine and trophy are both east. Correct. So it's already taken up two of our eastern item locations. Uh, fire is only more useful in rando compared to vanilla when the option to... Oh, you can't get up there. Wait, how do you get to that crest? Or is that where the magic container was? Oh, that's a really weird uh, ref dot there. But, oh, okay. look at the town right there. Yeah, <laughs> sure enough. So, yeah, there's an option to link fire to another spell, which is in these flags. It's not in the final flags. Um, but, like, if you have fire linked to thunder, then it's extremely useful. We do have fairies, so this water tile might be kind of useful. Oh, there's our trophy. It's one eastern item location down. There's... And the child! <laughs> okay, well, we're not really going to spend a whole lot of time looking for spell items this seed. The only thing we have left is the medicine, and we know it's in the east. fetch quests seem like they're gonna be pretty important. We haven't really found any of our required spells other than fairies, so they might both be our two required. Although I have not seen Three-Eyed Rock yet, so we might not be flute required. Uh, like Lightning setting up for his upstab as well. Yeah, they, they could be very close to, to Goma, basically. Oh, 
Looks like Level Engine is about to take on Barba. It's gotta feel good to have Palace 6 out of the way early. Yeah, for sure. I, I guess the... While I question putting off Palace 1, what, since it was right there, um, the fact that it just had the candle might mean that that's an item that Lightning gets to skip. We'll kind of see how this plays out, uh, the flute being the only possible thing uh, that's required that we could uh, still need. Or that could be required, rather. Was that fire? That was fire. Oh, that is uh, disappointing for lightning, to say the least. And Barba is down for level engine. Or just random river devil blocking nothing. <laughs> so I had one in a seat last night. It might have been the one I raced with lightning, but there was a river devil on a double wide path, and then on the spot next to it was a forced encounter. So if you had the flute, you could save yourself having to go through the encounter. Interesting. Like level engine is about to pick up his glove. Uh, this is a, uh his raft. Sorry. Uh, yeah. Two most important items in the game, though. Ooh, just a pee bag. Not even a good pee bag. I know. At least he gets a key out of it. It's an interesting contrast with uh, Love of Engine having the candle and lighting the night. <laughs> Definitely. Oh, is he not pick- okay. It's <laughs> like, no, pick up that heart container, please. <laughs> it's also a, a nice uh, peace of mind to have the hammer when you head east. Just in case the nuke suit was blocked, you could see a uh, lightning chopping down a tree tile already. Yeah, I think those early boots are really going to help with overall exploration, especially Maze Island as well as Death Mountain. I didn't even think about boots for Maze Island, too. Looks like uh, nuke suit was not hammer blocked. You have done well. I don't like that he's using these alternate hints. Yeah. The same line. <laughs> it's throwing me off a little bit. Oh, and there is a magic container from the magic container lady. Which is kind of ironic. Yeah, I don't think you ever say no to a magic container. That is vanilla, though. Do we have the spell spell yet? We do not. Okay. I think we only have shield, fire, and fairy. Okay. Their that, spell. That, yeah, that's what that must be. And that's uh, convenient. That's also vanilla, of course. <laughs> yeah. A lot of vanilla things so far in this seed. It's bizarre. So, uh, we'll see if the magic key is in this last room. Can we have a... Can we get a completely vanilla Nukasudo? I guess the magic container requirement wasn't vanilla, so I guess you could say that much. 
Level engine is right on lightning's heels. Oh, another magic container. You know what? The, the, so they're, they're not going to say no to those. No, I wouldn't. I wouldn't say no to the 50 pee bags that they're just leaving. <laughs> oh, that was another 500 one. Yeah, this seat is, seat is not stingy with um, the good drops at all. Both keys and 500 point bags are great, and one ups are a nice bonus every once in a while. So. Overall, I don't think Lightning is upset about that Nuke Pseudo, but he didn't get. Um, the number one thing he needs, which is, well, I guess he needs two things, Reflected Thunder. And he might need the flute, but it's looking unlikely, we'll see. Yeah, although we haven't seen many palaces, I think we've only seen two so far, other than the Great Palace. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they'll show up quickly here. Good one. Oh, just jump. Oh. all the spells. So, does that confirm that uh, the medicine is required? I would think so. Yeah, so I think it's got to be in the last pea bag cave. I don't think we have any other eastern items left. Yeah, no, I, I don't believe so. Well, we knew medicine and trophy were in the east. Right. Oh, medicine and trophy. Medicine and trophy. I was thinking child and trophy. Never mind. Yeah. Just ignore me. It's all right. Yeah, he, he found the trophy be or the the kid before he even got the hint for it. Uh, so lightning is going in here, and that's a kind of interesting decision because this could be like palace four, and um. He doesn't have Reflect yet, but the... I, I also don't know if I agree with the, the item here. <laughs> wow. But the two items, rather. I mean, with the boots, it makes it a little quicker, I think. Yeah. I mean, I'd, I'd certainly try to uh, beat this level. And if you get forced into the item, then that's fine. But I wouldn't go out of my way for it. Uh, okay, it looks like that's what he's deciding to do. Yeah, it's pretty nice that it's Palace 2, though, and they have everything they need to kind of get through it. So getting Maze Island completely out of the way has to yeah. feel good. Yeah, uh, Palace 4 would be the only bad one to find there. Okay, there is a dead Yeah. Yeah, but I definitely think our spell items are going to be our troll items for the seed. No, spell doesn't do anything with those moas there. Looks like a uh, level engine didn't do a good job of casting shield because he had a full magic jar and an empty life jar. Well, they are definitely set on safety spells, that's for sure. Looks like desert encounters in the northern part of the east are Valley of Death. Um, just a free guy on our uh, jump tile there. 
or on our desert tile. It's like Level Engine is also gonna dig out Maze Island. So Level Engine doesn't have life yet either, does it? Or a uh, lightning, I mean. Mm, no, I don't believe so. Okay. He's missing what uh, some people would surely call the three best spells. I would think. Yeah, he's definitely in zombie mode right now. Yeah. Um... So it's possible that the um, the medicine is not needed, could just be life, but um, we, uh, either way he's going to have to find something in the east. I think he still needs to find Ruru, where he would normally get the fire spell. Yeah, so far, just a heart container in Maze Island. Did Level Engine not find the hammer yet? Um... That's a good question. I don't know. I'll have to wait till he pauses to know for sure. But the stomach done is thought he found medicine cave, but I don't know. It looks like level engine is digging items. Here. Because he went left immediately without even going right. Well, he might not have that hammer yet, and that might be what he's looking for. And we have Helmet Head on Lightning's side. He shouldn't really be looking for the hammer, though. The, like, he saw Nukasudo already, and there's no need to look for a hammer unless we know that another item is required. What is our magic two. key? It's nice to have. I think we've seen so far with the Jeep Ferry, seven root containers, and uh, keys all the dropping clear from me that that magic key is far from necessary, but it's just a convenient item, I guess, that not to worry about any more key that goes through the rest of the room. I don't know if this is the same way that the uh, And see which way he went off the elevator when he after he went left. Yeah, I'm not sure. I know he went through the. Uh, oh yeah, this is the same way. Okay. Looks like Lightning is also looking for items. So I don't necessarily agree with this same play being made by either of them. Yeah. Well, we do still need that medicine, so. Right, but we know that the medicine is not here. Yeah, it's east. Never mind. We could need the flute, though. We could need the flute. I'd rather confirm that it's necessary before digging in. Yeah, for sure. And our last magic container. explore the east and find those other palaces as well as uh, Buru and maybe that uh, 
other item cave. Taking this connector seems like a logical thing to do. So, you know, uh, level ended could maybe be ahead here, if only because Lightning has done some things that turn out to not be required. Um, like getting the kid and turning that in. So it, it really depends on um, whether Level Engine goes and does those same things. Yeah, I definitely see him digging out the other item. Nope, maybe not. Or did, he might have already gotten it. I might have missed that. Yeah. Uh oh, there's Reflect. Okay. So, uh, again, for just 50 50, that. I'm gonna need that medicine. It's gonna have to go back and turn in that uh, trophy sometime to figure it out. But it's, uh. I would try to find those other palaces, I guess, before I go and do that. Yeah, having Reflect, you don't have to worry about which palace you encounter, you can take down all of them now. Right. I, th I think the biggest question now is if the flute is going to be required. But uh, this must be the medicine here, and by no means is Lightning going to pass it up. Meanwhile, level engine is picking up his reflex spell. So yeah, that uh, that flute is a really big question mark because this could be a, a really uh, pretty fast seed, or um, this could still be a, a really slow one if that uh, flute is needed and buried somewhere. Yeah, we still have the items in Death Mountain. Neither one of our runners checked that. Looks like we're gonna get a uh, palace check here in Valley of Death. Oh, this looks like two. Oh, this is five. They just did two on Maze Island. Oh, that's right. This is five. Okay, sorry. Sorry. Five is another one that can be super long and windy and trolly. Yeah, for sure. I mean, that describes five in a nutshell. And level engine grabbing his medicine. right in Lightning's footsteps into Valley of Death. This is an interesting race, because uh, Lightning is ahead, like, distance-wise, but uh, Level Engine does have the extra gem placed. Wow, Lightning being very aggressive with Guma. They have really gone aggressively on every boss that they've faced so far. Their execution is very nice. So, uh, Level Engine is taking some lefts here, and that could be the difference in the race. Uh, either he's gonna find a required flute here, or he's gonna waste a bunch of time looking for an item that is 100% not needed. Looks like, a uh, Lightning is gonna turn in these spell items, get his thunder one way or another. 
maybe a life spell too, depending on the order he does things. short circuit this problem that they had at the start too. So. Yeah, not having to use those pass through caves is definitely much nicer than the start. Right. Yeah. Especially when it's jump cave. <laughs> You're right. Yeah, low engine is taking a lot longer in Pals 5 than Lightning did, and it's almost, uh, might be the race at this point. Yeah, because Lightning is about to take out Palace 1, so that little bit of a gem advantage is going to be gone for level engine digging out this item. At this point, um... I don't think Lightning has seen enough to know if the food is required, so I imagine he's gonna grab the item out of here too, but uh, we'll see. Maybe he'll chance it. Yeah, Lightning seems to be a little more comfortable with gambles than level engine. Level engine also not recognizing the dead end there. I think one is so much easier to dig out the item as well, so it's not really like, oh, I need to take this gamble and skip oh. the item when it's just a small time investment. No, for sure. It's on average like an extra maybe three or four rooms or something that you'd have to do. Oh, they're skipping the uh, item though. Oh, and just a one up in Palace 5. Yeah, that's a kind of worst case scenario for level engine. Yeah, you would at least want to see. I mean, the cross is pretty much useless as well, but at least that'd be better than a one up. Yeah, the, the, the flute was really the only thing that found of any real value, and that might be worthless as well. Yeah, that was the one up. The kid is... Um, was that in a cave? Or it, it was somewhere in one of the easy-to-reach uh, eastern item locations. Yeah, I think it was on one of the pee bag tiles. Oh yeah, it, it was... Uh, right. Well, that's that's normally a, a, a uh, hard container tile is what that is. The one with the little oh, okay. two by two platform that the item sits on. The desert tub. I'm still learning my items, <laughs> my item caves. Yeah. All right. Well, level legend has made his way to Boom now that he's finally going that way. We've got thunder. So lightning could be in go mode. Wow, go mode without dipping Death Mountain. Feels bad. I always like to watch the players do that. Look, I mean, it's not over yet. True. No, I feel they have explored quite a bit, and I have yet to see that three-eyed rock. 
Only have two more palaces hidden, so we shall see soon. There's a palace right down there. I don't think we've seen that one in the east. South of the Valley of Ether. It's not accessible from where level engine is. It might be accessible from this side where lightning is though. Extremely useful for navigation in the sea, for sure. Oh, definitely. Definitely required. Yeah, yeah, they certainly seem to be required in the west. Oh, there's our last palace. Okay, so, um, food is not required. means just uh blitz these last two palaces and then uh up in A to go back to take care of Great Palace. Level engine is in a or I'm sorry, lightning is in a really great spot here. Yeah, taking those gambles to skip the items in the palaces definitely paid off for lightning. Yeah. So I mean um Level Engine still has to find Thunder, and he doesn't know what he needs for it. But at this point, he might want to go and cash in those spell items and see what they give him so that he knows if he's in go mode or not. But he also doesn't know if he needs the flute. So uh, going down here, if he heads straight down from here and sees this last palace, that should tell him that he doesn't need the flute, and he's not going down there. He's uh, heading to that other palace that he saw, I guess, which is obviously three. And we are on Karaok on lightning side. Yeah, that was really cool. As four. level engine jumps into palace three. So. This is a nice quick item for uh, level engine, which is good for him. Um, that heart's certainly not required, but it, at least it didn't cost him much time digging that out or anything. Yeah, it looks like lightning has gone in full-blown go mode. They were just burning the gems. Yeah. Um, I think a big question will be when it comes to 4, which seemed really fast for Lightning. Um, is, uh, is Level Engine going to dig the item out of there? Because that could take significantly longer. But uh, either way, Lightning is definitely ahead because he's already got that Thunder spell. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> Very so cheap, they're just both casting it arbitrarily whenever it seems like it could be mildly helpful. Yeah, they both found all the magic jars in the game, so they have to feel pretty secure with magic. I would definitely say the glove in the two cubs. And the raft? Yeah, well, the raft constitutes access to the palaces, I guess. That's fair. Yeah, down and up stab, but... Oh, 
particularly downstairs. Well, in the race I calmed yesterday, upstab was required to finish the game. Really? Yeah. Upstab and GT. Or in Great Palace, sorry. GP. <laughs> I get my Z1s and 2s confused a little bit. I know. And it's then, a hard habit to break. Then you go to the next game and it's GC. <laughs> yeah. So, level engine taking down Rebanak. Lightning hot on his heels. Man, he made up a lot of time in P3. Yeah, he did. Uh, Thunder's one of the spell items in the West. I didn't see which one, but it doesn't matter. Uh, level engine has both of them. So, he just needs to go back and cash that in. And he needs to go to the Southeast here to find Pels 4. Wow, lightning burning that last gem as well. I mean, I don't blame him, but... 5-5-6 five, five, makes me nervous, but I'm terrible at playing this game. Yeah, it's definitely a little bold. But, uh... I think you'll be able to handle it. So, about a 1-3... 20 something entry for lightning. I really like this palette on the Dark Palace. It feels extra creepy. On the Great Palace. Dark Palace, Great Palace. It's the Great <laughs> Palace today. It is a similar uh, color scheme to the Dark Palace. I prefer when the back bricks are solid black. Like, that sometimes when it's busy like this, I get a little dizzy watching it, but we'll make it work. Yeah. Uh, the solid black bricks with the right uh, uh, foreground palette can definitely look pretty cool, I think. Yeah, like, Level Engine's palace is just making my eyes hurt right now. <laughs> it is a lot to watch when he's walking with this. It yeah, I think don't look at the foreground bricks. Those are bad. Yeah, definitely. And level engine taking down Rebenek. Nope. Karak. Karak? 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 I see Karak. This, this C1 in Palace 4. Let's say that. Um, so... Hopefully level engine decides to up an A immediately and cash in his spell items. Go and find Thunder. I mean, I feel like at this point he has to know that he's just a spell away from Go. He should. And But he doesn't know where the kid is. Um, so, number one priority for him has to be determine if he needs the kid. So he's gonna cash in the... Oh, or did he... Is he going in here? No. Okay. I was gonna say that would have been bad. Oh, is he not... Is he thinking about using the boots here? Yeah. I think he's gonna head east, maybe. That's good. Oh, there's a dead end for lightning. At least this waffle room isn't quite as bad as they typically are. It's certainly not fun, but definitely not as brutal as I'm used to seeing in these uh, tournament races. We have a drop on lightning side. There's Thunderbird. So we are on the right path to Dark Link. 
Yeah, it was a pretty quick Thunderbird, all things considered, I think. So we could have still a bit of distance between here and Dark Link. And there's Thunder for Level Engine, who is going to jump right into the Great Palace as well. Has some time to make up, but Great Palace can be very trolly. Yeah, if uh, if Lightning takes the wrong drop here and uh, Level Engine doesn't, it's possible he could make up a lot of this time. We've already got a branch here with the, the fairy realm, so a couple different directions could decide to go. Yeah, I don't think we've seen the Eon drop yet either. I'm really surprised. Wow, Lightning, rather than uh, going and grabbing the fairy, just decides to take a death so he can fill his magic instead. My favorite enemy in this game is that giant bot. Lightning has found another dead end. The more dead ends he finds, the more chance level engine has to catch up. Oh! He does have upstab though. Another uh, upstab require Great Palace, possibly? It certainly is. No, it has to be. This is the only way they can go. So, uh, I don't think Level Engine has upstab. I was going to say, I don't remember Level Engine grabbing upstab. So he, uh, he didn't even go into Darunia, as far as I know. Um, so that's, uh, that's really bad for him. <laughs> Well, he does have all the magic containers. Wasn't there a magic container in Darunia? Or am I getting my palaces mixed up? Uh, towns mixed up. Yeah, there's... D Darunia doesn't have any items. It just has the... The Reflect Spell and Vanilla end up stale. It's the, the purple background town. The magic there's... containers. Ooh, magic taking containers the Eon drop. Up. Yeah, I can't blame him. I don't know that he's seen a lot of drop destinations, so these drops could just lead him right to Dark Link. Yeah, more often than not, that Eon drop is uh, the required way to go. I mean, drops can only take you to one of two places, closer to the boss or back to start. And if he has no reason to suspect that it'll take him back to start, then... Um, taking the drop is definitely the right way thing to do. Ooh, especially... this is those gross waffle rooms I was talking about. Yeah. But especially if, uh, if Lightning is heading left, that makes the drop much more appealing. That was an interesting sword block there. Oh, he's having a little fun with the bot. Oh god, he's gonna die, I think. Oh. Yeah, he doesn't have that life spell. Uh, what he did, though, was he used the spell spell to turn the high HP bots that come off the big bot into regular bots that die in one hit. Very nice. I feel so bad level engine is about to find out upstab is required. Of course he's going to have to fight Thunderbird first, but I'm sure he'll take him down. Kind of a 
tricky room for lightning there. Yeah, the lag is just painful. I've noticed that both Z1 and Z2 have a lot of trouble with blue. It seems to lag a lot with blue enemies and things. Don't... I don't know if that's an actual thing, but it, it, it's an interesting anecdotal observation anyway. Yeah, just what I've noticed through commentating and tracking that the the rooms with more blue enemies tend to lag more, especially in Z2, but Z1 also, or Z3 also seems to have some lag with rooms with blue enemies. And the bad news for level engine. Yeah, he still has to reach the end of this room, but then it's over. Wow, I feel like poor Lightning has just looped and looped and looped here. Yeah, but it's gonna take a couple of bad game overs from him, I think, to give level engine any hope of catching up. Yeah, Just definitely. Upstab blood. Oh, Darunia is right there, so obviously he's been in there, but he didn't go beyond. Okay. Is he really on his last life with just over a bar of health left? This could turn out to be quite a race if this is his last life and he has to up an A and start again. Yeah, because uh, level engine should up an A right here and he'll be right back in Great Palace within a uh, few seconds. Yeah, that's uh, that's rough with these uh, mixed large and small enemies, right? Like a room like this. Good grief! He made it to Dark Link, though. Oh my oh, goodness! Wow, that was fortunate. <laughs> oh my gosh! It, but he's still got to come out of this fight. Uh, I think he can get hit once, probably, which is a nice, uh, safe feeling to have. But uh, you know, still got to. Be careful with uh, Dark Zelda jump setting. Oh, yeah, of course. Uh, wow, very nice. All. Looks like Lightning is going to join us in chat, so make sure to get your GGs in there for them. I feel like it was a pretty quick seed without requiring the flute or really the hammer. The hammer wasn't really required either, I don't think. No, I definitely wasn't. Notice that level engine did not pick it up. Yeah. Or child. obvious trolley things about it where the the boots and six being required and then the oh. I definitely think the, the that items. would level engine have not dug those items out of uh, 
well, one, two, three, and five, I, I feel like they would have had this race. It sure would have been interesting. That's uh, it's hard to say, but uh, thinking the item mode of five in particular, um, unquestionably cost him significant time. Yeah, we were nervous for you as well, Lightning. We didn't realize it was your last life. Uh, Level Engine did not have upstab after he beat Thunderbird, so he had to up an A and go back to Darunia. And then we figured it was in the bag for you at that point. And then chat said, uh-oh, <laughs> it's their last life. <laughs> so it did get a little a little spicy there at the end. It was pretty exciting. Yeah, if you would have taken a game over there, it would have been... Um, like, insanely close at the end. No, don't take that, Eondra. Is this not right? Lightning took it. Yeah, and I think it looped them back. Oh, it is the path. DH Storm, uh, Storm has uh, kept me on my toes today. He's definitely helped me out <laughs> with commentating. Because I am terrible. Yes. Level Engine did get that hit. But uh, they dug Palace 1 first and got the candle, and then did Palace 6. Oh, you didn't even see it. That's kind of funny. Uh, I guess lucky for you that that wasn't the actual answer. and just zombied his way out of that room. Might as well just take death. You don't have life spell, just just do it. <laughs> or wait, no, he does have life, doesn't he? I thought he did pick up life. No. Nope, doesn't have life either. Wait, which spell is life? Or which, which location has life? It's the one that Lightning didn't do. I thought it'd be in Mito. Yeah, okay, I thought that he got the spell out of Mito. But it doesn't look like he did. That's weird. Yeah, that's probably what I would do, school girly. Nice reaction there by Level Engine. Is still gonna have to go through that uh, crazy room with all the blue bird knights in it. I think he's still got multiple lives in reserve, though. This might even be his first life. 
I think he took a death when he was in zombie mode. Oh, one yeah. This. Yeah, I guess he must have. Yeah, unfortunately, Level Engine had to up an A after Thunderbird to go and get up stab. Okay. And then come back. This is the way to Darkwing right here. Just gotta power through these three dudes. And he's gonna take a death. Oh, that's painful. But he's okay. Just that shield again. No, you add Thunderbird first. You entered Great Palace, I would say, probably five minutes before Level Engine? Yeah, I forgot to look at the exact time that got in there. But it was about that. Level Engine was a bit behind placing the sixth gem, and then he still had to go get Thunder. No, upstab would not have made a difference. A game over in the last room very well might have made a difference, but... And get your GG's in the chat for Level Engine. Yeah, the final flakes have uh, magic query container requirements on um, full great palace. Uh, you start with three hearts, and the maximum number of heart containers is random. So it could be three, could be eight, um, or anything in between. And uh, Probably something else. Oh, uh, life refill amount is the final question. And I have a uh, magic query. Yeah, well, doesn't look. Uh, level Engine, I'm not sure if they're going to come in for interview or not. Uh, did anyone ask him? Because. Yeah. Okay. Well. Oh, there we go. Where's Lightning, though? Oh. Where's lightning though? Oh. And we are joined by Level Engine, GG. Yes, we are. That hey, was a Level Engine, engine that was GG. Boots and Palace 6 before he could even begin to go east. Yeah, it's pretty crazy to have Boots required in the west. That doesn't happen very often. Well, I can count a handful of times where it dead. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Uh, usually to get like from the north to the south or something. Um, so I, th I think the biggest question I had about what you did was what, me, what I did. Yeah, uh, you, you spent a lot of time looking for items, particularly in five, when you were very close to go mode. Um, and I, I don't know if you felt like you needed to take a chance on something, or if you were just uncomfortable with what you had, or uh, what your thought process was there. I was thinking eventually I'm going to have to find the spell items, trophy kid slash medicine, those kinds of things. 
because Thunder was locked behind one of those things. And yeah. Maybe there's a five, perhaps, before actually finding Reflect. Yeah, did you have, um, yeah, you did. You did. Um, did you have the hints for the spell items, though? I, I know we saw the hints that both the trophy and medicine were in the east. I knew the medicine was in the east. Okay, you didn't get the trophy hint. But I did find the trophy itself, though. Yeah. Um, yeah, obviously you did at some point. But, uh... Yeah, I don't know. I think that's what held you back the most, and then, of course, in the end, uh, the upstab at the end. But uh, there was actually... Great Palace with upstab? Yeah, he entered with upstab. Um, that, that certainly helped him. He he cashed in the kid. He found the kid uh, pretty quickly in the east. It was actually not very far from um, the dock in the east. Uh, that was one of the first things he did, was find the kid and then go he back. He never even spotted him. Yeah, uh, I I don't remember where exactly it was. It must have been in the item cave, uh, the pee bag cave. Uh, but there was an interesting moment at the end of this race where uh, Lightning was actually on his last life and on his last bar of health, and he had to go through that uh, that last room with the bird knights, and then he took like one hit from them. If he would have taken one more hit, he would have game over, and you guys would have been. Uh, basically tied re-entering GP with you with the upstab and him having a game over there. So that would have been quite crazy. But uh, as it turns out, he barely squeezed through and uh, uh, robbed us of a lot of that suspense at the end. But anyways, uh, you played pretty well for the most part, I think. It was a pretty close race throughout. Um, Indeed. 40 minutes faster than what I just did in the seed that I did for practice just before this race started. Oh, yeah. Practice seed, it took me about 2 hours and 3 minutes to beat. Yeah, on these same flakes. What went wrong during that seed? And yes, I needed upstab for Great Palace in that one too, so I wasn't counting on it happening two seeds in a row. Oh, that's crazy. It's happened a lot basically then. Yeah, oh. the race I commentated yesterday, uh, the daily needed upstab as well. I'm trying to think. I also recently did a race against Amazing Ampharos, and I think upstab was required in that great palace as well. Uh, yeah, I, I don't know if I ever sure actually caught that race. But uh, I remember it happening. <laughs> um. Anyway, so uh, I'd say overall it was a, a fairly successful tournament with you or for you. Did you have fun with it? Yes. Nice time for no upstab entering Great Palace. Yeah. Yeah. For sure. Uh, definitely. What are the odds on average that you need upstab in Great Palace? I don't know. I know there can be two of those rooms where the blocks are structured in such a way that you break down them if you're going right, well, from left to right, but if you're going from right to left, then you need to go upwards whilst breaking those blocks. And there's two rooms like that. Uh, I'd, I'd, I'd say it's maybe 10%. 10%? So one out of every 10? Yeah, that's, that's what I'm thinking. Maybe that's not that crazy that I got two in a row. If we get three, then that would be no way one in ten, school girly says. I certainly feel like it's less than that, but I'd have to just look at all the rooms. Then again, like a bunch of them do get cut out, so do I even know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um. Like, what if both the rooms that you need to have the upstab for just possibly get removed from the shortened Great Palace. Does that get removed though? Because I think it only removes rooms that go like one direction. Because that that's a, a turn. So that might not get removed. And it might just be that we don't see it sometimes because it's, you know, out of the way. Hmm. 
So, I, I, I don't know. I think Shake could confirm. You, you think it does get removed? I, I don't know what the... I believe it does get removed. Okay. It's based on in every room in some Seeds. Yeah. What he's talking about a room where you can possibly have to up stop to break through those, where you're usually intended to go down. But sometimes, like, the randomizer makes you go backwards unless you're going up. Alright, well, GG to both Lightning and Level Engine. Lightning, uh, looking forward to the rematch with Rose City Saint next round. Ought to be a one hell of a match there. Level Engine, thank you very much uh, for participating in this tournament. Uh, any final thoughts as, as you uh, make your make your exit, unfortunately? Not that, unfortunately. <laughs> you get to avoid those final flags, huh? So, is Lightning going to be racing against Rose City Saint with those finals flags? No, it's the following round. So, it's the round after. Yeah, uh, it's the final flag starts with the Dig Shake Jacober match uh, coming up probably in the next week or two. Uh, what, what do you think about those flags, Jacober? Since you're going to be the first to get to experience them, um, they're definitely a, a grind. Um, the the game can really put a, a lot of uh, stress on you in uh, just having to balance all of your leveling and um it can make a, a full clear of the items a little more likely so be interesting so let's say you get like three heart containers and maximum three all those extra heart containers are probably gonna be point bags or extra lives or random items like that they'll be hey, 500 probably get bags. More 500 bags yeah so they'll help you level up but still that whole prospect yeah. of having to do a whole seat on three hearts yeah i feel like yeah. i've done all before in Max Rando, but certainly isn't easy. I know, I asked uh, Trails that he did uh, at least one match in the qualifiers with the final flags. How much longer is the long GP on on average than the shorter? Like in terms of time? Uh, it, it varies wildly. The, the long GPs I did last night took me, uh, I'd say maybe like 10 minutes more than a normal GP. Uh, but I don't know. It it really depends on if you go the right way or not, I guess, and how the palace is laid out. Um, isn't yeah. every palace in a randomizer like that? I I had a I had a three heart seed that I did late last night, so you could go watch that if you want to see what one might uh, end up looking like, I guess, perhaps. But um. Yeah, anyway, uh, thank you all so much for the restream and tracking, and thanks to the runners for putting on a good race for us. Speaking of those, our two trackers tonight, Shiro Eli and Sammy Mamas, our uh, two commentators, Jay Coper and Jinxie Girl. What a big thank you to all, to all four of those, along with our two runners, Level Engine and Lightning. Uh, we'll be it on ZSR for tonight, but uh, looking forward to tomorrow. We have a uh, we have an early match in our Breath of the Wild Any Percent tournament coming up at one o'clock Eastern. That one's just getting underway, and they're, they're finding new glitches in that game every single week now. It seems that with the BLIs, it's just changing everything as far as routing goes. Following that up later in the day with uh, winners bracket round three match in our Ocarina of Time randomizer multi world tournament, and then finally we have uh, our other. Round four losers bracket match here in Z2R, Thirwolf versus Yunos at 8 p.m. Eastern. So it should be one hell of a day uh, on ZSR tomorrow. That uh, Yunos Thirwolf match should be very interesting as well. But with that, we are going to go ahead and call it a night. Uh, thank you very much uh, to everyone involved. Thank you, everyone, for joining us tonight. And uh, we will see you back here tomorrow. Have a good night.